Okay, let's talk about rotational speed. Uh, rotational speed really has two components. Uh, one of them is a linear speed, which is also called the tangential speed, and that's basically the distance the object is moving over time. Okay, um, if it's going around in a circular orbit, if we released it from that orbit, it would continue to move tangentially from that point in a specific speed. Okay, uh, the other speed an object has is rotational speed. Rotational speed is the number of rotations per time. So let's look at an example. Uh, something you'll, you'll often be asked is, let's say we have two points on, on a record, and the record is spinning at a certain speed, like 33 revolutions per minute. Okay? Um, well, if we compare the speed of those two objects, uh, it's very different if we're talking about the tangential or the linear or tangential speed versus the rotational speed. Right? So if we look at them both, they both have a rotational speed of 33 revolutions per minute. But if we look at the speed that they're moving on the record, the linear speed, right, we can see that the linear speed is actually related to the radial distance versus the rotational speed. So if I say that A is x and B is 2x in terms of a radial distance, a distance in terms of the radius from the center, right? we can see that B is going to be moving much faster than A. So this is why two objects can have the same rotational speed, but very different um, linear speeds.